one thing that a man learned damn quick. You point a gun at Silas Greaves, and someone will die. Watch out! This is a story that will take you into a few close shaves. Never get you an audience with the crooks who pass for lawmen. Hell, he'll even get you a ride alongside Billy the Kid. Chasing those villainous Dalton brothers. Shooting up a saloon and searching John Wesley Harden. You've heard names the like of Butch Cassidy, Jesse James, and the Wild Bunch. Well, this story will get you face to face with all these zombitches. Which is handy, because the face is one of Silas's favorite places to shoot people. Now this is Silas' story, and he'll be the one telling it to you from memory. But sometimes he can get a little confused. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? What happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Cowboys attacked me Apache style. Maybe he's just spinning tails for beer. Now Silas has what you call a sense of death. It's an ability that automatically alerts him to impending threats and lets him dodge bullets. And he's also got himself a concentration mode, which allows time to be slowed down in a way that recreates the heightened speed and accuracy of a gunslinger. In terms of weaponry, Silas is happy to use pistols to shoot guys in the face at short notice, or rifles on the occasion of shooting the guys in the face from a distance, or shotguns for the shooting the guys in the face concurrently with their other bits. You can develop your style in whatever way you want. Care of one of them multi-branched skill trees. Want to specialize in making a mess of folk close up? Level yourself up by killing the bad guys. And then enhance your close combat skills with quick fingers for faster reloads. Or grenadier to throw and shoot your dynamite. And for the times when you absolutely positively have to kill every last some bitch in the room, dual shotguns. Truth is, it's all the same to Silas, as long as he gets his quota of face shoot. The true West mode dispenses with newfangled luxuries, such as the HUD, and lets you take on more and tougher enemies. Here, precise skills are needed if you want to last longer than a parched mule's piss. Arcade mode removes those tedious sidelines, such as a plot and characterization. Pick yourself up points for accuracy and style as you face hordes and waves of suicidal enemies. See him running? Bonus points. Long shot? Bonus points. Shoot him off a building? Well, no points, but it looks damn fine. In dual mode, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with legendary outlaws, and once you've shot them in the face, you can share your results via the leaderboard, where I believe that kind of thing goes down pretty sweet. When you journey into this world, you'll find a story that will challenge you, scenery that will awe you, and characters that will shoot you as soon as spit on you. And if you can survive long enough in this world, you may even find answers to some important questions, such as just who was Silas Greaves? And just what gun is best for shooting guys in the face? If I shoot one in the face and another in the stomach, do I get less points? These and other questions can only truly be answered by playing this game. But don't just take my word for it. Check out what all these fine folks been saying. Sure as hell, they'll be getting themselves some. So download the demo, or just buy one hell of a game for 14 bucks and some. Come on, don't be stingy now.